I don't even remember. Is suspicious. Ah, oh, fuck off. Diaz Bondi. Thank you. Hold on as we draw this bond from Diaz. Head. Okay, I'll go to our toddler. Sacro Rocco Ceremony. I'm going to leave the serum to Saxon Mode Office. Sacro Rocco. Okay. Rapid Transit System. Rapid Transit Dweller. Okay. Search for Bastilla. Down you go! What? Yes? Can you go? Time to rumble! Let's go! Let's go! Sure. 
Cheers. No. Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to kill you, maybe? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. No, I just want to have to hear I see. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Me. Me. You. I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Hmm, interesting. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. Yeah. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you, or anyone, so damned important to me? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. I think I pissed him off. What's on your mind? Nothing right there. You got it. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Mm. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The it's Undercity is seven. crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Shoot questions later and ask first. Mm, okay, touch. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even it's the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five Sorry, credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! <laughs> yeah, this is probably good. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. You know what? Fuck off. Oh, 
Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Mm -hmm. Go on, you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Think that happens. Sup? My name is Shalina. Hey, Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Nothing special, you know. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. Yeah, it's but okay. when I was Everybody little, Wukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. So. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like oh, to listen yeah. to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Less dark somehow. Got you, got you. But promised land. Promise it's land. it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have though. If you really want to learn more about the promised land, you should speak to Rukil. Maybe I do. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You know what? I believe you. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, mm -hmm. or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. So where is He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. I get you. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Yeah. yeah. Maybe some. Maybe some. Oh yeah, I need to know if some other... There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Not for me, no. Well, tell me about this village. Well... I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Oh, some right. of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but... Most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukio. You could talk to them if you want. I might do that. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. No. A lifetime lived in this dark place can drive you mad. Just look at poor old Rukil, if you don't believe me. He's lost his mind. So you say, so you say. Where are you, old man? Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I can throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. 
You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Let's see what you got, Smeagol. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Okay, Smeagol. Hey there, Upworlder! You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you need something else? Yes, I want to ask you some questions. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Why is that? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? Hmm. Interesting. But I think I'm staying out, staying out of that. Um, I don't want to get too much light cards. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But oh, Gendar oh, made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Got it, got it. Yeah, okay. You come back and see me if you want a deal. Right, Smeagol. Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the rat ghouls are so near! Okay, okay, i help him. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's do this. You I asked for I this! Thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. That's what all oh God. You're gonna be fine, Hindar. You're gonna die. You die, right? Uh huh. Yes. No! Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? I'm Trellin, from the outcast village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. All right. I need to. Uh, Goodbye, oh, Upworld. Oh, man. Let's 
single. Why are we staring at the tower? Anyways. You! You come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you what? the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the oh. darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. What if I would just shut the fuck up and see what happens? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered. Perplexed. No, it doesn't understand. Well, I suppose, anything. even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Oh, so Perhaps I can make things more clear. Long. Some Maybe things, still. at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. <laughs> Get the point, old man. Once, I was honored for my wisdom, but over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone, too. Hmm. What happened to her? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. All right. And I get what to do. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity, but if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Ah, uh, whatever. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Okay. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what about that? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. The Rackles are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Hmm. I've heard this one before. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Uh, yeah. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Yeah. 
The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. Yeah, we know of no cure for complex. the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. He represents Meagle too? Oh god, Carfew in the f in the hole. See? What's going on with you? Okay, I was gonna stay away from the My game is actually not see, it's like me. Help me, but I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Oh, I see you again. Gaden, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Zalbar's in trouble. He needs our help, or they're gonna sell him into slavery. Okay. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Oh, but maybe we lead him, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. All right, let's go. No way. I'm the one that got Zabar into this mess, so I'm coming with you. I'm not going to abandon him again. Okay. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Sounds about right. <laughs> Don't don't move. I'm I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. 
Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. <laughs> this isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. One, two, three, four. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I love more than just one. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Well, he has to deal with it. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs, but the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line, but lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them, but I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. I can tell. All right, later, man. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's move out. What? That's weird. Ooh. Huh? Oh, she can move.
Accept. Yeah, they're bigger. skills again. That she missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I heard I bet. Right now. 
Okay, have it your way. Here we go. Promise land. Apprentice journal. Show quest items. <clears throat> Signal to Fable Land and the rest will lead them into the sewers. Alright, so it's in the sewers. In the sewers. Yes? I think I missed this corpse here. Yeah. It's a Republic soldier. What? It's a Republic soldier? Yes? You have a survivor. Yeah, help. I know what's going on. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Like some kind of hideous disease. Yeah. I think that's your face. No! No! I can feel it! Ah! Oh, 
Huh? Yeah, the, the holes are like, like skateboard so. Let's go. Sure. Just gonna kill you. No, I'm not gonna do that. I got the phone papers. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent. God down, damn, right? I want his red suit. I should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Mm hmm. Oh, she looks on cool. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Yeah, I just told Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court marshals and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out! Ah, oh, shit, more ruckles. Not close enough to see anything, neither is she. What? Uh -huh. Ooh, what a hit. Come on. Curfew, you Ready, heard. Time to rumble! No, where, where are you going? Yes? Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big C's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, nobody fun. said the Vulgars were smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Vulgars at the best of times, and when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Uh, lucky in front you with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. And the other two? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. 
The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Got it. He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. That makes sense, you know. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? Nope, I've got okay. street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. You know, you're the my brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? What? Nothing really. Uh huh. So what do you see? Blast it out of here. Look over here. Too far away. Ready? Yeah? That hurt, I bet. Ha! How'd you like that? That hurt, I bet. You'll never get it! Splitter, blast rifle, which I already have, and the serum. Hey, 
Hey, Karth. You're a pilot for the Republic, huh? right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. <laughs> hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Oh, are you not gonna take it from me, are you, Mission? I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't do that, but... Damn, that was funny. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? I don't think so, but here, here you go. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Oh, yeah. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Oh, do I? Oh, fuck's sake. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. Mm -hmm. A century ago, Rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans, and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. <sighs> Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land, and you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Yeah, how am I supposed to do Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. 
For many years, I searched for the promised land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land. Well, I, I will leave right. this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. Wait, so. Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Yeah, Your offer is generous, Upworlder, but the serum is useless to us now. The villagers infected with the rat ghoul disease have been quarantined beyond this gate. At any moment, they could be transformed into terrible monsters. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I see. Farewell. Hmm. Well, this was it for now.